so in the previous lecture we were solving this beam bending problem till now we have created the material beam section p beam property we have defined here the cdef point as we have discussed earlier now we are going to create the beam property now we are going to create the component so now make a right click create and create the component so component is my beam component let's say this is beam and enter we have to make sure this beam component is my current component so here make sure this is current it is highlighting here also you can click here and select this beam now go to 1d go to bars in this bars in the element type we need to select c beam here property is p beam in the orientation now we can define orientation here like we can define y axis or z axis because we always have to select the perpendicular axis with respect to this length axis that is x axis so that it, it can take the bending direction one more way of defining it is also we can select component here so here you can see x component y component and zero we need to leave x component here as it is we can click on y or z so let's say i can insert value 1 when i insert the value 1 this will create a vector in y direction also i can leave it y0 i can also create z here it will create a vector in z direction so you can take either y or either z this pin ab basically means the left and right ends for the beam and uh, now we need to create the beam but here you can see we need to define two nodes so press f8 first f8 first node will be 000 and second will be 500 create return then press f so when you return you will automatically go back to the command here bar and insert all these parameters again now this is my node a this is node b return so now i can try to rotate this let's see in the 3d view detail representation and click on this shaded geometry so you can see we have a 3d view of this beam so once again i will go to 1d and i will go to this component you can see property is empty so define the property here property and p beam now it has property and material and check it the property once again steel rectangle okay press shift plus f2 and clear all so all nodes will be cleared now select the proper view here now we need to create the load collector so i will go to load collector here first will be my spc create second will be the force create so here you can see force is my current load collector so i will create a force so analysis then force this direction we can also select the direction by component here so you can see x will be 0 z will be 0 and the y i can insert negative 10000 100000 so here we need to select on the nodes type is the force click on this node and create so you can see if i increase this value let's say 50 you can see the force similarly we need to apply the boundary condition so click on return click on this force also we can go to load collector spc make a right click make current so now you can see spc is my current so i i can go to this constraint select this node everything is checked and create so increase this size let's say this is 30 and return now i will create a load step so load step this is my beam analysis so insert beam this is linear static spc and load select spc spc and for the loads like this force and create return so now everything is completed i can save this file go to file save as model so in 1d there is a beam folder i will create a beam here beam and enter now let's solve this file so optistruct 
in export select all analysis memory by default and solve it now you can see solution is completed so i can directly view the result from here or i can open the hyperview i'm going to open the hyperview so search for hyperview and insert and open this from the load model select the proper location this is beam so here you can see all the files i am interested in finding out this altair hyperview file and click on open now apply so i will go to this contour and apply so click on this xy now to check the bending here what we can do is we can increase the scale factor so i will go to this deform shape and let's say this value is 100 apply okay now click on animate okay to slow it down i will have to pick up this arrow and drag it in the left side now let's once again animate this you, you can see how the animation is going to take place after that we can check out the stresses so once again go to contour here elemental stresses here we need to see the stresses in this section like c section d e f so click on c section apply so you can see so you can see there is no stress in the c section so we need to select the d section here yes so in d section you will see the value so negative means this only the direction similarly you can check for the f section apply so in f section it is positive so in this way you can perform analysis of a beam bending